There is so much clothing in America. That's why we're here today. Because if we're gonna find these things anywhere, we're definitely gonna find them here. So if you don't have a boyfriend to steal sweaters from, this is kind of the spot to be. Or if you're just weird like me and you like to have a million oversized men's crew necks, that works too. Also keep in mind these are super easy to crop and make Brandy Melville-esque looking. So don't be torn away by that aspect. You can crop hoodies, you can crop things like this super, super easily. Like this cropped, that's a Brandy Melville Visco girl thing if I ever did see one myself. And for freaking 250. Mini bags are definitely something that you can find a plethora of. These two I thought were super, super cute. They're a little bit bigger than your like average mini one, but I kind of like that. I always have a camera and like, you know, wipes to carry around. Even though I don't have a baby, but. So jeans are always a thing you guys can find thrifting. Ask the jean queen herself. There's lots of Levi's I just didn't pick up. I have a lot. So. Yeah. But also, good brands. What are some other good brands that you could look for? Rustler. Rustler. Lee, Levi's, Wrangler, Lee. You're always gonna find something, whether it's in the little boy section, generally not the women's section, because it's kind of hard to find like actual mom jeans in the women's section, but tons of the men's, and yeah, you don't need to look for like Levi's essentially, because there's so many other good brands too, so. Keep that in mind. Gap vintage is, Gap vintage is really good. Yeah, we love, we love old Gap. Honestly, old Gap needs more love. And they're not even Levi's. Speaking of Gap, again, a very good croppable item. So if you're not having luck in the crew neck section, I definitely recommend looking over here because sometimes you'll get lucky with like a thicker, this is definitely thick AF. Muscular, if you will. A little expensive, but that's why we're here on a 50 off day. So these are also really good to crop. Personally, something that I wanted to look for was a white turtleneck, but I already have like a tighter one because I'm looking for something like this, which is really popular at Aritzia right now, but also so easily customizable. So a black turtleneck, like a thinner one, is absolutely essential for the fall because you can layer it under crew necks, dresses, tuck it into skirts, guys. I hate to break it to you, or I'm happy to break it to you, that black turtlenecks like never really ever change. Like you can get knit ones or you can get oversized ones, but really they're all gonna be here at the thrift store just because people get tired of them, or again, are persuaded that they need to buy a new one, even though nothing's wrong with their 100% cotton old one from the 90s. I literally just found like four perfect ones on this tiny section, so if that isn't a little motivation for you, I don't know what else it is. <laughs> so this section might not look appealing to a lot of you guys, especially the females, but this is actually where I find all of the good flannels and jackets, kind of like in this Instagram post, which you guys were asking where I got this jacket from, guys. There's literally endless supplies of like flannel jackety type of shirts at the thrift store. This one's a little thicker, so I feel like I'm definitely gonna pick that up. But this is the secret dress shirt section that usually none of us wanna go through because it just looks like a boring finance man's ex wardrobe or something like that, I don't know. It doesn't look that interesting, but there are gems hidden within. Talking about t-shirts real quick, this is obviously like an item that everyone has on their thrift wish list. It's like a good band tee. But most of the times you're gonna find things like this. But I will say there are so many t-shirts here. You just kinda gotta put in the time. That's what we're here for today. And you're probably gonna come across something cool. Don't limit yourself to like 
band tees. So now that we've got kind of the oversized stuff out of the way, we're gonna head over to the women's section. Finally. There's usually rows on rows of women's sweaters, but today we are looking for cardigans. And in this lovely thrift store, there's their own designated section. So this should make things a little bit easier. If you're trying to tell me that you can't find a cardigan at the thrift store, I don't know guys, something just, you are looking in the wrong sections or you just don't have an open mind because there are literally so many cardigans here. I feel like they're almost kind of like an American uniform at this point. But if you're feeling a little doubtful about these guys, because I saw this video that you thought everything I picked up was gonna be ugly until I tried it on. So stay tuned until I show you guys how I style them, tuck them, crop them, cut them, all that good stuff. This one smells like Jolly Ranchers. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> So personally, I have enough plaid skirts I realized recently while cleaning up my closet to dress an entire graduating prep school class. I feel like we're marketed to believe that plaid is like trendy, new and hot and trendy every fall, when in reality it like is the epitome of fall. It is the fall uniform, so it's always going to be around. This section does make me a little claustrophobic because the racks are so high, but I'm going to try and find a cute plaid dress. Guys, this was sneakingly right behind me the entire time. That vintage brand though. This dress actually fits me better than expected. Just a little school teacher vibes with the length, but that can be fixed. Oh, oh yeah, no, I've nice. been wanting the North Face one like that. Yeah. See you guys, yeah. my friends find these things too. It's <laughs> not just me, so. <laughs> Look, regular. It's like Good a luck all around. This will be $2. Whoa. When it's done. When it's over and done. When it's all said and done, there are always denim jackets on hand. A lot of them kind of have been ruined by, uh, you know, evolution of clothing in an unnecessary way. But you can always kind of get rid of that. But I'm convinced you can always find a good denim jacket. Whether it's here, the men's section, the kids section. If you guys want to see a video all about all my thrifted coats and jackets, let me know because I have kind of a lot of them. But I live in Canada, so I feel like that's a good enough excuse. I think I've ever not found a leather trench coat at the thrift yeah, store. I, I, They're so easy to find. Look how well this one fits too. That looks like the original. So if you guys are trying to tell me that you can't go to your thrift store and find these items, I need you to reevaluate. These are things that I always find so often at the thrift store and like I find that brands, fast fashion, whatever, traditional mall stores are trying to replicate even though like there's so much of it already out there. Like sweatshirts, they weren't invented in 2019. Just gonna go ahead and say that. I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I picked up and then show you guys some stuff in the change room because I actually already own some of this stuff and I'm trying to work on my own consumption. You guys know I am the biggest sucker for sweatshirts and hoodies. Like crewnecks, whatever. Literally my laundry pile is always really thick by the end of the week because I wear like a different hoodie every day. But they are so cheap and so readily available at the thrift store that I just can't help myself whenever I go. So a few that I actually picked up were this really cute ladies swim and dive 07 club. Like, is this you Miami? I think it is, but something about it just made it look so vintage and cute. This one is just like your classic gray crew neck. I didn't have like a gray, a dark heather gray like this, so I decided to grab that one. And then lastly for the hoodies, the comfy wear, I grabbed this really nice oatmeal-ish polo zip up that is kind of like a sweater hoodie hybrid. I don't have anything like this. So this would just look really cute with like nothing underneath and just some dark denim. Oh look, jeans, denim. I think a lot of people go into the thrift store thinking that they have to find Levi's, they have to find Levi's, but the truth is there are so many good vintage denim brands out there. You do wanna look in the men's section because that's where you're gonna find that like high rise mom fit. A little dead giveaway is that if the crotch to waist is like quite a far area, that's gonna be high waisted. These are actually the infamous Levi's 501s, which you do not need to buy because actually for my body type specifically, I find that these are not 
quite as high as I would like them to be, but when I find them, I don't pass them up because they are just such a classic. Another little fact that I want to slide in here too is if pants don't fit you perfectly, but like they fit in some of the right spots, you can take them to a tailor and get them altered to like fit you perfectly for as little as like $15, which is a pretty good deal considering if you're getting the jeans for like $5, you're still getting a pair of denim that's like amazing quality for only $20, so. Just some food for thought there. People are kind of going crazy for cardigans these days. And as you guys saw, there was literally rows designated to cardigans at this thrift store. And I've seen it before, so it's not like a, a rarity thing. I wasn't in the cardigan capital of America. Or maybe I was. Either way, I found so many that I could have taken home with me. So this one I actually took to New York with me already, and it was in my styling week outfits video, whatever that was. So I'll link that up in the cards. This is kind of like killing two trends with one purchase because this green color has been super in and this is just like the perfect little button up cardigan. I also mentioned graphic tees and you guys saw that one that I picked up in the change room, but I also found this really cool champion one for $5 and then this Nike one, which is just like big boxy oversized, that 90s kind of Nike vibe. They look great with a well-fitting tailored pair of mom jeans. I have so many plaid skirts and like I didn't really find any plaid dresses that I liked, but I did actually come across this amazing little set, which is kind of like a casual workwear set. It came with this jacket. It's more of like a jacket than a blazer. And then these plaid pants, which I'm planning on wearing together and separate and separate and then together again. But this was a bargain. This I believe was like $12. So for two pieces that it, like that. So I actually already own a black and white turtleneck. So I didn't pick those guys up. I literally saw like a million, I feel like turtlenecks take up like 80% of the thrift store. So we also have mini bags, which I showed that one in my thread up haul, my most recent thrift gift guide haul, which I'm gonna link up in the cards. It is really cute, so you're probably gonna wanna go over there and watch that if you haven't already seen it. Plaid slash flannel jackets you guys saw me show in the thrift store, that's like the iconic thing to thrift, I feel like. Like when I became a thrifter at first, I was like, ooh, I wanna find me a good flannel. I actually have this one that I got at a vintage show not that long ago. I am obsessed with it. I know some people don't like to wear leather or pleather and some people don't like to wear denim jackets, but I feel like having one or the other is absolutely essential from the fall going into the winter or just winter if you live in LA because you don't need to bust out the puffers. I, I buy too many because I always find them, which is a little bit of a situation, but whether it's a trench, it's a crop, it's like anything, you can so easily find them in the jacket section. There are so many jackets out there. That is it for this 10 things you guys can thrift for fall slash winter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys have thrifted down below for the upcoming season. I would love to hear about it and please leave me any video suggestions you guys may have. So that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.